dinosaurs suffered a cosmic catastrophe, obliterating the kingdom of Tyrannosaurus Rex. that were rising to the west at that time. So there were large rivers running across the coastal lowland, and if the Tyrannosaurus uh, body happened to fall in the water, then it had a very good chance of being buried complete. And uh, fast burial is one of the most critical factors in terms of uh, preserving an animal that large. the mysteries of this ferocious but elusive beast. Old individuals and the young individuals that strayed too far from the herds were the most likely prey for the Tyrannosaurus, and these are the animals they actively hunted down. fearsome of nature's creations. But how did such a ferocious giant come into being? The body plan road tested in Eoraptor became an evolutionary bestseller. Even today's birds, themselves thought to be modified dinosaurs, owe much of their design to these long-tailed ancestors. Predators of its time, it used its jaws rather than its front limbs for killing its victims. That adaptation would set the stage for the rise of T-Rex and its unique appearance. The earliest of the Tyrannosaur family is called Electrosaurus. It is a long, slender animal with relatively long front limbs. By the time Albertosaurus evolved, its head was larger and its front limbs shorter. Opinion is divided between two candidates one from North America, known as Despletosaurus, and another from Asia, known as Tarbosaurus. Tarbosaurus is an animal that originally was called Tyrannosaurus as well. It uh, has a number of differences, but when you start looking at other specifics, uh, for example, the orientation... Despletosaurus. The ancestry puzzle may take a long time to solve, but one trend is clear. As the Tyrannosaur family evolved, they not only grew larger, they changed to cope with their increased size. Ever since the first skeleton of T-Rex was assembled 80 years ago, most people have assumed that the king of dinosaurs must have been a slow and lumbering beast. But that view is changing. This is a feature that is good for walking. Jog for a human being. Modern reptiles and birds, and a few rare fossils, suggest that T. rex was a nesting animal and laid eggs.
and the dinosaurs were ruled by Tyrannosaurus rex, a hunter fast enough, big enough, powerful enough to catch and consume any prey. But one paleontologist dares to suggest T-Rex was not a killer, but a scavenger, a giant marauding vulture. Scavenging. Tyrannosaurus rex. We hate to think about Tyrannosaurus rex as a scavenger. We'd rather think of it as a predator. Its name, the Tyrant Lizard King. You can't have a king that's a scavenger. A hunter, this is what scavengers have. Those animals better and to hunt them down. We can see Tyrannosaurus basically had a mouth full of steak knives. If Tyrannosaurus rex was around until the last moment, then it devastating events the world has ever seen. An environmental holocaust that not even the strongest of all the dinosaurs T-Rex's enduring charm, seven tons of carnivorous fury, a head the size of a meat locker on a body bigger than a school bus, dagger teeth as long as railroad spikes, capable of ripping off 500 pounds of flesh in a single bite. Before it, they pose the most serious challenge ever to the throne of the Tyrant Lizard King. T 
T-Rex's challengers lived in the lush environment of South America nearly 100 million years ago. You will never know why this animal chose this very spot to lay down and die. What we do know is that it wouldn't see the light of day for another 100 million years. But could either one of the new monsters truly lay claim to T-Rex's title as king of the meat-eating dinosaurs? And which one would it be? In this case, a plant-eating dinosaur that was stuck out here in a bog. And so this bipedal carnivore looks out there, ah, here's supper, and he gets stuck in this bog. What we're seeing in Giganotosaurus is a mechanism for the animal to come in, basically take a big gouge out of the side of the prey by slicing with its teeth into the side of the flesh, avoiding the ball, and then moving back as fast as it can so that it avoids getting hit or turned on uh, by the animal that it's going after and then basically waiting to see the effects and then coming in again and again until its prey weakens and falls. Years later, T-Rex was a very different animal. Just as big, perhaps, but with a narrower frame, smaller front limbs and more robust jaws. With this different body came new weapons, teeth of a very different design. Size, not body size, were the determining factor. T-Rex would remain the king. Over. When it viewed its prey, a wide-skulled T-Rex, with its eyes further apart, may have had better depth perception, helping it judge distances more accurately. In contrast, Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus, with their narrower skulls and smaller brains, may have had a harder time figuring out just how far they were from a potential kill. Whatever the differences in their eyesight, all these predators focused on one thing, meat. But were they all deadly predators? Giganotosaurus and Cacarodontosaurus, two huge meat-eating dinosaurs from the south. But does big also mean slow? One clue would be whether the meat-eaters were warm-blooded, allowing them longer periods of activity. Although the full lifespan of a Giganotosaurus could have been as long as 50 years, it may often have been cut short by its violent lifestyle. To the men who discovered them, Carcharodontosaurus and Giganotosaurus were vicious hunters. I think that this animal was a predator.